What's up guys, today we have an absolutely epic purchase inside of this box, and yes, I did it. I betrayed Yu-Gi-Oh, but you guys will see it in a second. The giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away these three cards, two European Pharaoh Servant cards and a North American print backup soldier. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments what you think about this mail. Let's go ahead and pop into the box. Probably not going to show it cutting open all this stuff, but I will record it just real quick. All right, so we have a few things in this epic box. We have the most legendary. We have card savers. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. Not that crazy, but these are really hard to come by. This was actually just thrown in with the purchase, which I'm actually super excited about because I would run out. I bought 100, so now I have these. Someone sent me some the other day, so now I actually have some, which is great. Next, we have this, this brick. Let me show you guys what this is. Inside of this, we have Pokemon cards. Yes. What have I done? What have I done? I bought Pokemon cards. So what Pokemon cards did I buy? base set not only base set we bought an entire base set i bought every card in base set so we this entire stack is base set cards so we have every single card in pokemon base set this is base set unlimited it is not first edition or shadowless but if you guys know shadowless and first edition are crazy right now they are insanely expensive, so buying those would have been like financial suicide. But we did get these. I actually bought these, you know, I bought them when they were more on the, the upper end. They've kind of come down a little bit since they kind of went crazy. But I think I still got a pretty decent deal. There's the Pikachu. That's pretty cool. Pretty decent deal on them, and it's pretty cool to have these because I did sell all of my Pokemon stuff last year. I used to have a video called Selling My Entire Pokemon Collection, and it was a really long time ago. But you can see what I had. It was... It was pretty good. I wouldn't say it was, I mean, obviously there's some great stuff people have, but okay, here we go. We have the hollows. Let's, uh, let's save those for last. It was pretty, some pretty decent stuff, especially now the prices have gone way up. Like Lugia, I had Lugia, P uh, it was not PSA graded, but it was near mint to mint. I think I sold that one separately out of that collection, but that was, uh, I I'm kicking myself because that one sold for 129,000 in PSA 10. I think mine could have gotten a nine. So I think those are like eight, like 8,000 or nope. something, which is still crazy. Which is still crazy, because there's a lot of them, but... So I sold it for like $160, so that hurt a lot. So for the hollows, we have all the hollows from base set. We have... What is this? Oh, that's not a hollow. Coffee. Okay. And this whole set was sold as near mint to mint, so we're going to look at the hollows and see what they look like. They all come in card savers, so that's even more card savers for me. It's The, the base set foil is just tough, because it's a little bit blurry to begin with. So getting them without print lines, I mean, you can see there's some in there right, right across. You can see one. The backs look pretty minty, though, which is nice. So it's going to be pretty nice to have this near mint to mint. I'm not going to put that back in right now. We'll check out, like, the starters. Probably not going to check out all 16 because that would take a long time. But for Venusaur, let's see what kind of condition we got on Venusaur. Looks to be pretty good. I mean, you see some scratches right there. Some scratches over there. But it's super difficult on these. Wizards of the Coast Hollows. Yeah, I know. I don't do too much. I don't really do Pokemon on my channel. But I do watch a lot of Pokemon. So I kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about sometimes. So a pretty nice card there. You got Raichu and Machamp. Machamp uh, obviously was in the starter decks. So he's not super rare or anything. But still cool to see him. Raichu is evolved from Pikachu. But still not that... Uh, people don't really care about him as much. Nido King. I consider this one of the worst Hollows. I don't know. The, I think Nidoking King itself is cool, but for some reason this card, I don't know. I just, it, it's not as cool. Then we have the one and only, the Charizard. If this guy was like a PSA 10, he would be super expensive, but there's almost no chance of getting one of those on a Watsy Charizard. Doesn't matter if it's unlimited or not. So if you guys check this out, you guys can see the foil is actually pretty good on this guy. It's better than the Venusaur was. Sure, I'm missing something, but that looks pretty good. There's a, maybe a tiny scratch right there. Pretty good. How does the edge? How do the edges look? A little bit of silvering on this side, you can see. So maybe it could get an eight. That would be pretty cool. Back looks pretty nice. There might be a little tiny nick up there. Yeah, you can see that. Get the lighting on it. Pretty good condition on that guy. Maybe we could get an eight. An eight would be really good. Hitmonchan. We got that guy. Who I think was in a theme deck, so he's not as rare there. Alakazam, this is one of my favorites. Looks pretty cool. Definitely like that card. Poliwrath, I mean, 
this guy as his some he sunk to like being the worst hollow. People didn't use it to say that. Now recently, Polyrath is now the worst. Gyarados is another guy. They definitely didn't do him justice with how cool he is. Here's the Blastoise. Let's see what it looks like. Yes, I've betrayed Yu-Gi-Oh. I know. We're looking at Pokemon cards. But don't worry. Tomorrow, I'm dropping hint, guys. You think this is an epic collection of Pokemon? Just wait till you see the Yu-Gi-Oh collection I have coming in tomorrow. It blows this out of the water. It's going to be incredible. I'm just letting you guys know. If you guys stayed till whatever minute we're at in this video, you just got the reward of a sneak peek. Assuming it shows up because it was super late. This guy looks pretty good, actually. I'm trying to see if I see anything. I can't see anything, but I feel like I'm missing it. You know, I feel like there's something. Because if there isn't, that's insane. Let's see about the back. This that guy actually looks pretty good. The corner up there, maybe not perfect. It's nice to look at. Okay, we didn't really look at the bottom corners, but, you know, I'm sure they're, they might have something. Magneton, this is the guy I think is the worst. Definitely the worst hollow, Magneton, for sure. Clefairy, hey, it's down there. It's not too great. Ninetales is pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Even though it is a troll, you always think you get Charizard and you get Ninetales. Zapdos is underrated as well. I think that's a cool one. I think it looks good, too. And we got Mewtwo, definitely a good one. So that is all the Pokemon cards. I purchased an entire base set, which is pretty crazy. But that's not all we got in this package from this. We have one more thing. Here we have something pretty cool. We have a Nintendo Game Boy sealed, Game Boy Advanced. And yes, guys, this is a Game Boy Advance. This is not a Game Boy Color. Yeah, I know this time. This is actually the first system I ever had was a Game Boy Advance. Mine was not white, it was gray. But this is so really cool to have. It also has this little uh, this little window, which is pretty cool. So getting this is pretty nice. It's pretty awesome. This guy's this thing's in really good condition. Yeah, so this is super nice. I picked this up from the same guy who sold me this base set cards. So this is actually really cool. I don't know. I might try and grade this thing because it looks real. Like if you check this out, I mean, there's like no you know dents in it or anything. This thing looks really good. So I've never graded a video game, but this is really cool. So. Pretty cool to pick this up because I did originally get a Game Boy. I think I was like seven or something and started playing Pokemon games. And then we have the Pokemon cards. So yeah, I, I ended up playing Yu-Gi-Oh games as well. But I mean, let's let's be honest. The Pokemon games were always better. Even the Yu-Gi-Oh games were cool. The Pokemon games were incredible. I, and I still love those. So this was pretty cool to pick this up, getting these guys. I used to have all of these and I sold them all. And then everything got super expensive. So this is pretty cool to pick these up. We'll probably grade some of these, maybe all the hollows, probably, even if they're like sevens, because it's probably worth it to do it. So let me know what you guys think about this video, about Pokemon videos, etc., stuff like that, you know, Game Boy pickups. I used to do this a lot more back when I had a smaller channel. Now we've grown so much, we've done pretty much Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't think I'm gonna be doing a lot of Pokemon videos, but I'm just throwing this out there. Because I did make a huge base set purchase, I figured I'd show you guys. It's really cool to get all these hollows, you know, at once. I actually forgot, but he sent a few extra cards and I forgot to show them. So we got a few extra Pokemon cards with this. We have a Gyarados, an extra base set Gyarados, so that's cool. So we got two of those. That's really cool. This one looks to be pretty good condition. There's some dust up there. I can't tell if that's damaged or not. Got a Pidgeot from Jungle. That's really cool. So we got a Pidgeot. That's really nice. We got a Nidoking from base set two. So you got the two right there. That's all you know. We got a Flareon, also known as Fire Floof, by one of my buddies. That is a slightly, like, I don't know, fade. Like, it's the symbol is kind of going away. That's weird. I've never seen that. So I don't know what, what the deal with that is. Next, we have a Zapdos from Base Set 2. I think, the honestly, the Base Set 2 foil looks way better. Let's be honest. The actual foil looks better. Then we have a Look of Vaporeon with the same sort of thing. That's really cool. And a Nitto King. So we got these super tight sleeves on these. So we got a bunch of extra foils in here that were thrown in with the base set purchase as well. Some really cool stuff. So I really appreciate that. So this, I got the Game Boy, I got the card savers, base set, all from the same package. And that's really cool. So let me know what you guys think about Pokemon. And tomorrow is going to be one of the most epic, potentially, if it shows up, if everything is as according to plan, this will be the most epic Yu-Gi-Oh collection I've ever bought. And by a lot. It's going to be crazy. So make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. It's going to be crazy. I'm so excited for it. By the way, yeah, I know this has been here the whole time. Uh, it's a Sharpie from the Met, from USPS. So sorry. I'm sorry if that bothered you. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay,
elemental hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh, <laughs>